Hello, everybody. I'm Nicole Schwartz with the Diana Initiative, and I'm back with our introduction to Hacker Summer Camp or DEF CON 101. And today we're talking with Night Owl from Data Duplication Village. Can you tell us a little bit about your village and yourself? Sure. Thanks for having me. Uh, Data Duplication Village has been around at DEF CON for 10 years now. Uh, we're coming into our 11th year. And it was started off by Bruiser and Little Rue, who are now running the InfoCon, uh, the Info Village. Um, I guess you would call it a village, the info desks. There are desks all over DEF CON that help out with uh, people who need to know where what is. Um, but about eight years ago, they turned it over to me and Oak, and we've been expanding the village and expanding our content. Um, and what we do is we provide content to anyone who walks up and asks for it. Um, we do this in the way of duplicating hard drives. So if someone brings us a six terabyte hard drive, we'll take it put their source of choice on it. We have five different source choices now. Uh, and then give them their drive back with all the data on it. So we literally duplicate data in the village, all con long. So it sounds like you kind of have to bring a drive with you that's empty. And do, are you able to give them an approximate time that they should come back to pick up their drive? And is there a list of the sources they could look at ahead of time so they can kind of consider which one they want to prioritize? Yes to all that. Uh, so the uh, sources are different drive sizes. So you have eight terabyte and six terabyte options. Uh, they're all listed on dcddb.org. They're on the forums. There's a uh, du duplication village forum there where you can get that information as well. It changes every year. So we try and make sure to get that information as early as possible out there so people can start planning. Um, usually about a month, uh, three weeks before con is when it's settled and solid, uh, solid we know what we're going to have from the sources for that year. Uh, so that's when you'll see the information available. Uh, at that point, go out and buy a hard drive. Don't wait till you get to Vegas because Vegas runs on hard drives every year. Um, we, we have last minute people come up and say, oh, I'm going to go get a hard drive. And uh, you know, it doesn't work all the time. And Fry's electronics closed, so yeah. we're even more off to a bad start. Yeah, and we just put more pressure on Best Buy and Target and Amazon, everybody else. There's, um, every possible thing you can think of out the Henderson and beyond is being uh, hit for hard drives uh, around car. Uh, but once they turn in their drive, uh, we have tickets, which we use to keep track, like valet tickets, to keep track of their drive. Uh, and it usually takes about 24 hours to get a drive duplicated. Depends on the volume of intake. This year, we had a huge record intake of over 550 drives. There was just no way to get to them all, unfortunately. Just the laws of physics wouldn't allow us to duplicate all of them. Um, but we did get well over half. We got about 330 completed. Uh, so we usually set expectations that it's about 24 hours. But those valet tickets now we're tracking in Discord. So if you register your username to the ticket that you have, you'll automatically get a notification when your drive is done in Discord. So it's pretty cool to keep it anonymous and yet be able to alert people to when their drive is done. That's like the fanciest your burger is ready system I've heard of. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it, and we're always looking to improve it. This is our second year of testing it out. So um, we're looking to have a scan your ticket and see where the status of your drive is uh, and all that sort of stuff. You know, like your price checker at Target. We're going <laughs> to we're going to have that available in the village next year. <laughs> that would be uh, actually kind of fun to kind of watch the queue progress. Uh, all right. So everybody should be looking for the sales on like the six and eight terabyte drives. Does it matter? Like anything else about them or it's just like as long as they are that size they're good to go we usually uh recommend the eight terabyte sata 3 because you have to have the port compatibility uh 7200 rpm because faster is better you slow one down it slows the copy process down so um, we usually recommend a sata 3 drive it really doesn't matter the manufacturer um i would however check our history we keep records on all of the past drives and manufacturers we get in. There are, I'm not going to name any specifically, but there are some that are absolutely horrible from a functionality perspective. So do a little bit of research, look for one that's solid, and then get that one. Uh, if you get an 8 terabyte drive, that'll work for the 8 or 6 terabyte sources. So I usually recommend just sticking with the 8 terabytes. That sounds like the safer choice. This way you're not going to box into what you can pick. So since this does take a little bit of time, uh, 
I assuming you're suggesting they come earlier rather than later in DEF CON so that they have a chance of getting early enough in the queue to be picking up by the end. Yes. Um, this year, Thursday night is when we start. Four o'clock is when we started ac- accepting drives. Uh, by eight o'clock, we were completely full. We were already overbooked on that Thursday night. Um, this is partially due to the amount of equipment we have in the village. We're always looking to expand. We're looking for donations to expand. We're looking for additional duplicators. So that's one of the things. That's one of the things that we're going to be asking the community for because we are completely community run. If you can help us uh, by adding a dollar or two, or even ten, fifteen, we're not going to argue if it's fifty. Add a couple of dollars to the DCDDV support line, uh, and that'll help us get more equipment for next year, so we can get more duplication stuff. That's our goal is to just keep expanding and keep that data flowing out to the community. It's really an educational service that we're trying to provide and get all this data out there. Now, if somebody happened to have a duplicator, is there like a certain brand or type of duplicator that if their work was like upgrading or something, they might be able to donate to you? It's a really good question. Um, Donations are rough because we have to, you know, of course, vet the equipment, make sure it hasn't been tampered with. Um, there's a couple of uh, devices that we use today, uh, the Aleratech 1 to 11 drive duplicators, which are about $6,000 each. If they still manufactured them, they stopped. They, they got purchased and acquired and so forth, so it's hard to find these now. And the StarTech 1 to 5s, um, same problem, though. They stopped manufacturing. So we're keeping our eyes out. We're looking on eBay. We're looking at the various sources to look for those drives to see if we can, or those duplicators to see if we can find more and widen out our capabilities. So if you happen to like spot them at your local uh, electronics recycler, give you all an email. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to just send it to us, go for it. I mean, <laughs> you can always reach out to us, uh, info at dcdv.org. Uh, that's our email address. That's the uh, method you can always find out uh, if how you can send it to us or if this is something that would even be helpful. Awesome. So, I mean, I can show up with a hard drive. Do I, is there, there's no restrictions. Right? I could be like a kid and be like, here's my hard drive. And I would like all the HackerCon videos that you can fit on here. Or I could be brand new. You're correct. Uh, it doesn't matter. We just take a drive in. Uh, it's completely anonymous. We're not asking for ID or anything. We tag it. With like with a valley ticket with unique coding on it uh, so that when <laughs> you know, don't ever lose your ticket because you lose your ticket you can't get your drive back uh, but when you bring your ticket back uh, that's when we give you that specific drive back uh, again yeah, there's no age range it's not like there's prohibited content this is all available on the internet uh, so you're able to download it it's just a huge amount of data we're talking about 18 terabytes worth of data uh, so just downloading that, especially in some locations geographically, that's just not a feasible thing to do. Uh, so we're, one of the things that we do is while we have boots on the ground, so to speak, we're able to provide that directly to the end users. Awesome. And do you sell anything at your villages? A lot of villages sell like stickers or electronic badges. No, we don't. Uh, intentionally, we're really... Uh, the whole goal here is to provide an educational service, something that's completely free to the community. We don't want to charge for doing the duplications. We don't want to charge for our services. So we intentionally do not sell anything at the con either. Um, we partner with other people. We'll send you to here or there uh, to theoretically go get a uh, sticker there. Um, but uh, as far as the village itself is concerned, yeah, no cash transactions. Uh, we also, of course, for donations, we'll rely, relay you back to that uh, URL you keep seeing, the ddb.org <laughs> slash support. All right. So they showed up early. They dropped off their drive. They've got a whole bunch of content. Uh, I mean, do you encourage people to figure out how to share these when they get home? Like, is there a way that they could then share it with their local DC group or something? I hope so. Yes. Um, I'm actually debating, uh, and I guess I can announce this here. Uh, I'm, I'm making it my personal services available to any DC group. If a DC group wants to get duplications so that they can share with their area, reach out to me and we'll work out doing it even away from con. Uh, I highly recommend that your DC group comes in or sends a representative looking for a sticker we got for this last year. 
this is going to be a really easy one to, to uh, file. Um, but the DC group comes in and uh, like DC 407, <laughs> if they'll come in and they'll do uh, their duplication or they'll bring their drives in, replicate it out to everybody at DC 407, 408, which is what my area is. And then that, I mean, instantly you've just added a lot more data into the local pool of interesting uh, data to learn from. So definitely DC groups or similar. Uh, consider getting the drive copied for one of you and then copying it all to everybody when you get home. Absolutely. And uh, how did you get involved? You said like you showed up and now it's kind of yours. How exactly did that happen? <laughs> uh, voluntold is a word that happens occasionally, uh, but no, seriously, it was volunteering. Um, I've been a goon for several years uh, with DC. Uh, so uh, one year they were putting out a call for assistance for help to let the village expand uh, because a Bruiser and LaRue were getting overwhelmed with all the info desk requirements. Uh, so we offered to help out and just took it on, took it off their plate to help them out and just uh, expand it from there. Awesome. And for anybody wondering, um, I have been attending for a while, uh, try like DEF CON 8. And you definitely, when you see something that is interesting and you want to help it grow, volunteer. Uh, some groups may be good, but other groups are happy to take somebody in and you may end up finding your new family for the next 20 years. So, yeah, that's very much the case. I have a total con family. <laughs> See them once a year. And it's a great time, which is why it's hacker summer camp. You get to hang out with your family and then poof, y'all, you know, go back to where you came from. All right. So here's the thing of like, where are all the places that they can find you? Like social media, Discord, websites. Give us all the interesting places where somebody who's like, okay, this is cool. I want to find out more and get that info. So the primary places are going to be in the forums, uh, the DEF CON forums. That's the, okay, the official DEF CON forums. Correct. Uh, the Data Duplication Village has a, a channel there. Uh, you can also get a hold of us through the website, dcddv.org. Those are the two main communication channels. Outside of that, you can also reach me, Dinal, on DEF CON Discord or on Mastodon. There's a number of different places where you can get on to me specifically. Um, as far as uh, communication with the village is concerned, there's not a lot that goes on outside of CON. Uh, the majority of our communication goes on while we're <laughs> handing drives back and forth. Um, but of course, if you have a specific set of data that you're looking to get uh, pushed out to the general public, um, reach out to us. Our, our information is curated by Dark Tangent himself. Uh, so if you have anything that you want to get into the public's hands, that's the best place to start. Awesome. All right. And this is kind of the last question. Uh, why, if I'm new, should I maybe prioritize making sure I get it on a Thursday night? Like, what is this going to add to my Hacker Summer Camp experience or when I get home from Hacker Summer Camp? It's a good question. Um, a lot of people use the data we provide specifically for their research purposes. Uh, we provide hash tables. We provide all the con talks. If they're doing research into the specific areas of uh, the, the uh, variety of different conference talks that you see out there uh, this is a great way to get a hold of all of them and then follow that whole track from start to finish um, again they're available online but if you're looking to just really take in the data and, and don't have a really good connection this is a great way to get that data um, the other thing if you're new to uh, defcon specifically <laughs> well i tell you there's a really good thing to add here um, the dc next gen we're partnering with them uh, to get kids into the village because we have a lot of downtime. After we've done the intake, we're just processing in the back. So we have a village here where we want to talk about things that have to do with anything storage related or anything data protection related. Uh, so some of the things that we do with DC Next Gen is we'll have kids in, we'll take apart hard drives, we'll show them how a hard drive actually works. We'll talk to them and teach them about encryption, binary. There's a couple of different things that we do for kids from an activities perspective. Uh, so we really do provide some additional space for DC Next Gen during Con as well. 
as far as other new con activities or why you would want to come to the village, you got to come over and say hello. I mean, that's, that's all of uh, the, the biggest thing I would recommend for DEF CON. Follow your interests, meet people, explore what it is that you like to do at DEF CON. If data storage is your thing, you definitely need to stop that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming by. And uh, hopefully all of you listening now have an idea for what you want to be doing on Thursday, perhaps like right before you head to Toxic Barbecue. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.